OpraGX sponsor video. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Spies. Let's- 006. Double A battery. All right, you are a spy. No, I'm not. And you work for the... The Australian Security <laughs> Services. <laughs> the ASS. Like, obviously, the ASS, they are up there in the same league as the CIA, the FBI. Men in Black. <laughs> Men in Black 2. Uh, the agents from the Matrix. So, what do you do... If, let's say, you're in your commercial flight, you're in coach, because, yeah. you know, we don't, wanna, we don't want you to stand out, you know. <laughs> the, the government famously does not splash out. It's fucking what? For a flight on Qantas? <laughs> That's Anthony Albanese, personally. So you're flying to Iceland. That, so what are you, cold. What, what are you wearing? You're, you're, you're a spy, right? What do you wear? Tuxedo. <laughs> That's immediately perfect answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but with sh- black shorts, so people don't get suspicious. All right, um, dress shoes? Uh, no shoes. Okay, now I'm the the sexy air hostess. Okay. Drinks, snacks, anyone? Drinks, snacks, uh, and then I get up to you, and then I go, "This one's on the house, sir," and I hand you a packet of peanuts, and it's wrapped in a napkin. Oh. Yeah, exactly right. Like, you didn't order any peanuts. Or a napkin. And inside, there's a small micro tape. Oh. Right? Okay. And so you put it in your... Mouth. Phone. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense. And then it starts playing and it goes... Ba, 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 ba. Many kudos. <laughs> You're... It's playing... I'm not even wearing headphones. <laughs> You're an elite oh, spy with the ASS, and we I got my AirPods out, and they're they're out of charge. Only the left one works for some reason. We've got a mission for you right now. You're on your way to Iceland. <laughs> I'm I'm well aware. I say out loud. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, which we believe you have, because you're already on the flight, <laughs> is to assassinate the president of Iceland. <gasps> they did nine <laughs> eleven. There was a new one, the Triple Towers. So you got to take him out. This thing will self-destruct. I hope you got, I hope you didn't like that fucking phone or have any important photos on it or nothing. No! I had Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, with, Ch- with Chinese hard-coded subs. So, what do you do? You've landed all, in Iceland. No, I haven't. Oh. I'm still in the sky. Okay. What do you do? I order my drink. Yes, sir. What would you like? Glass of Heineken. Shaken, not stirred. Okay. <laughs> the hostess starts shaking the can <laughs> at arm's length. Yeah. It goes everywhere. <laughs> That'll be $12, sir. Put it on the ASS card, I say. Okay. So- All right, so I land in Iceland. Mm. I get off the plane. I go up to the first Icelandic looking person I can find. Yep. I say, oh, we oui, oui, uh, Where is your uh, El Presidente? <laughs> And they go, oh, well, we, we, he's up on the top of the hill. It's a big igloo at the top. Oh, je m'appelle. Uh, and I pat his head and I walk away, as is, as is custom in Iceland. And so begins your mission. But first, let's do a little ad time. Have you heard about Opera GX? No. Everybody knows that I'm a gamer and my favorite game is Lego Island 2. I play the multiplayer patch. But oh no, the game is lagging. Sandra, what's happening? Your browser isn't optimized for gaming. Oh, if only it was. But it's not, alas. (laughs) Opera GX. What, the lady from television? No, Mo, it's a brand new web browser that allows you to control all sorts of things. Well, I can turn down the CPU usage, the RAM, even the download speed with my browser. That way I can run it in tandem with all of my gaming. I'm so excited, I might just say a gamer word. Mexicans. I can say Mexicans. Why can't I say Mexicans, Sandra? <laughs> Keep that in. The G stands for gangster, Sandra. And the X stands for keeping it real. I can connect my Twitch. I can connect my Discord. I can even connect my Facebook manager and talk to very old relatives. I don't mind that. That's just grandma saying hello. Light mode, dark mode, fruity de mer, more Mexican stuff. It's also got animated backgrounds. And I'll tell you what, they've got this thing called the GX Corner. You get free games, you get a bunch of deals and stuff, and you've got a release calendar date. It's brilliant. Use our link to get Opera GX, and it has a feature that displays all the new videos from us. 
Not only that, Mo, but you can go to the Opera GX mod store and install our special mod. Look at this amazing wallpaper and theme. What else does it do? This is what the background music sounds like. Isn't it great? Oh, look what the sound it makes when I type on the <laughs> keyboard. That won't get annoying. Open a new tab. All this and more. Wow. And not only that, you can enable or disable all of these elements, or here's Moist Criticals one. You can fiddle with that and have a weird admixture. Look, we had a baby. Baby, baby, baby. But hold on, Sandra. I'm so loyal to my old browser, and it's got all my previous bookmarks and stuff. Just import them all, and you can even import your passwords and cookies. Lady from the television has really thought of everything. I've got my wallet, Sandra, and I am headed out the door right now to go buy this new browser. Wait a minute, Mo. It's free, and you can just download it from operagx.gg slash incognito mode. Also, they've got a pretty good social media. It just shit posts all day long. So go to operagx.gg slash incognito mode. Add over. Back to the mission. All right, so what uh -huh. kind of gadgets do you have with you? Give me a... Wait, you're my cue. This is a flashback. Ah, Mr. Kutos. As you see, we have plenty of gadgets. Come, let us let us tour the facility. And there's yeah, like yeah. all sorts of quirky things happening in the background. All right, what gadgets can I make for you? Uh, give me a, a gun that can shoot tiny bullets. Right, how small, um, how small the bullets? It's like a millimeter across, but it's still a normal sized gun. Okay. It's yeah. got a really thin barrel. <laughs> Right, it's but like, the idea is you've got you can have like four hundred bullets in there. No, it doesn't fit that many. It fits you six. can't be the world's worst spy. You've got to have no, something not. practical. It's, no, it makes sense because it's really quiet because it's small. All right, but just the barrel's really thin, but it's like really thick metal. All so I've got right. that. What else have you got? Uh, what else have you got? I've got a an umbrella with oh. a poison dart tip in it. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah. What else you got? I'm just, you know what? Not even poison. It just injects water. But you can, you know, you die if you get water in your bloodstream. So I'll just do that. That's definitely not true. It is. Wait, isn't it? No. What do you think a saline drip is? Okay, air. It blows air into your bloodstream. That, okay. that kills you. All right. So you've walked that, you got a bike pump. Uh, in an umbrella. It's like pressurized at all times. Because, yeah, if you get air in your bloodstream, it hits your heart and you fucking die. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it does that. I mean, you no got to you got to hit the vein. And there's definitely a trace. But yeah. No. Not the way I do it. All right, Mr. Kudis, those are some pretty mid gadgets. Let me show you some of what the gadget master has been working on. So okay. here, what looks like a regular ballpoint pen. Mm, I, I pick it up and I go to click it. Careful with it. Don't, cl don't click it. Uh -huh. You click this pen once, makes a very satisfying sound, doesn't it? Yes, you could do this all day long with a pen like this. Irresistible to man. As soon as you hand this off to someone, they'll be immediately distracted for the next 15 minutes, just feeling that satisfying kathunk noise every time. Brilliant. Does it have uh, like a gun in it or a poison? Or? The haptic feedback in this pen is just so satisfying. You <laughs> cannot possibly stop. Look, an ordinary wristwatch, perhaps, Mr. Kudos. Ah, a, a Rolex. You know me too well. Yes, well, why don't you... Press that button there. This isn't going to be another one of your satisfying pen gimmicks, is it? Put the watch back down, Mini Kudos. <laughs> <laughs> this other watch, though. Okay. Ah, mm. another Rolex, indistinguishable from the previous. <laughs> so that the movie <laughs> 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 doesn't have to download a new PNG. <laughs> yes. Well, synchronizes perfectly with Icelandic time. The time in Iceland is currently 1 a.m. Ah, look. Your company-issued credit card. It has a razor sharp tip that oh, you can like use that. to throw at people. Oh and yeah, I like that. Ninja Star credit card, yeah. And it's loaded with sixty dollars in prepaid funds. Well, by the time you get off the flight it'll be forty eight, but Ah check out these cufflinks. We've been working very hard on them. Uh, what do they do? Well, if you squeeze your left cufflink, it stops time. But only temporarily. Ah, uh, I don't think I'll need that one, Q. That seems a bit a bit low grade as far as your gadgets go. All I need is five pounds of American lead. Also, one last thing. Over here. 
I have a device for you just when you get kidnapped well, after this whole setup. Wait, thing. wait, what? Ah, yes, it's Bertie Bot's Every Emotion McNuggets. Perhaps you should take a 20 pack. Is this one moldy or just green? That is the feeling of pure envy distilled. See this red one? That makes people angry. See this blue one? That makes them sad. What does this polka dot one make you feel? Racist. <laughs> I'm not sensing any change. <laughs> so uh, we can't explain it, but some people are immune. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Mr. Kudos, you're walking up to the presidential igloo. Now what? I'm gonna scope it out first of all. Right, that's a good idea. It's like it's like just... a number one thing in the handbook. They're like, always plan ahead. Yeah, I pull out my Q phone, which is like the iPhone. Yep. The one that Q designed. Oh, I like that, yep. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna Google President of Iceland. I installed the uh, Facebook Messenger app on there, by the way, so that we can just keep uh, keep in touch. Bing. Hey, how's the mission going? Smiley face. Good. And then I use the thumbs up, and then I set my nickname to be something so it's not my real name, so no one will know. But anyway, I Google uh, President of Iceland, and then I search President of Iceland House, and then after that I search Ways into President of Iceland House. Oh, that's a good one. By the way. There's one more little <gasps> hidden uh, gadget. We so you may notice that you are wearing one of those Akubra hats. Press this little button on the side, the corks with the strings drop down. Oh. A little something to remind you of home. Okay, so uh, you are now yeah. outside the president of Iceland's house. So All right. what do you do? How do you take this guy out? Are there any guards blocking the main entrance? There are two guards outside the building and two more guards that look suspiciously like snowmen but you can't be sure all right well i'm gonna sneak up on these snow they thems and i'm going to karate chop one of them on the neck that's lethal the, uh not the way i do it oh okay so i do that yeah you uh, ah just snow i look at the other one and i do a backhanded karate chop also turns out to just be snow I should have known from the carrot. <laughs> okay, I dive into a bush. Uh, I, I, I scratch my chin and say, Ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. How am I going to get myself out of this one? All right, you're now in a bush. You suddenly over here on the radio. Oh, we got two snowmen down. <laughs> High alert. <laughs> now the two guards out the front go to check up on Snow Team Seal 6, right? The two guards are down. You can now go right through the front door. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. So you, you're busting through there. Boom. Yep, I pull out my, my gun with the ve very noticeably thin barrel. So you scan the room. It is not what you think. <gasps> there is no president of Iceland. Instead, there is a different president. The president of Australia is there <gasps> on the ground and he is dead. <gasps> I didn't do this. I would never do this unless I wanted to or it was convenient. And then suddenly... Oh. Oh, high alert, high alert. A bunch of Icelandic guards come rushing into the room. Oh my God, he's killed the president of Australia. You are taken in to custody. Okay. We're gonna have some questions for you, Mr. Kudos. And then they pull out the microchip from behind Hello? your ear. Hello? And then, no! Yeah, it's like now it's all like radio silent. And then you got like no contact with ASS anymore, right? <gasps> so the screen goes dark. And we cut to like a week later. Yeah. And you're in a basement somewhere. You're tied to a chair. You're half naked. Which half? The left half. No, not lefty. And there's a man who's going to question you. Ah, Mr. Kudos, you will talk eventually. We can keep you here for months, maybe years. Why <laughs> did you do it? Why did you kill the Prime Minister of Australia? Ha 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 He's maniacally laughing, right? I'm gonna say, you're never gonna get me to talk. Now, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna get out of this sticky, sticky situation and redeem your name? Okay, describe this room for me. It is a dark basement. You are tied with a fairly loose rope to a wooden chair and your hands are tied behind your back. Okay, what gadgets do I have on me, if any? They have taken your gun. Yeah. Is this the one with the very, that's, that's very That's the one. You've got barrel. the bike pump umbrella. You've got the <laughs> pen that goes kathunk. And you've got the 20 pack of Bertley whatever's every emotion McNuggets. All right. I'm going to say, please, whatever you do, don't scratch the part of my head where this button on the Akubra hat is. 
Oh, really? Yes, please. What do you? You can pull my fingernails. You can pull my balls. You can pull my ball nails, but whatever you do, don't touch the spot on my hat. Looks like you're too late, Mr. Kudos, as I am no. pressing it now. Bing. All of the corks fall out, and I say, Hat to meet you. G'day, mate. And I whip my head so fast that the, the corks whip them in the face. Womp womp. It's a three. Oh, my eye and the bridge of my nose. But actually, I'm fine. Shit. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. I was kind of hoping that the corks would, like, kill him in some way. No, it's it slightly... It bumped me right on the cornea, but I'm okay now. Um, anyway, and I grab a crowbar. You'll pay for that, Mr. Kudos, as I begin. What you, um, I also hate to see beautiful wooden furniture damaged. You've already played that card, Mr. Kudos. And I, I fell when... for it, and you got me right in the eye. It really hurt. Okay, but no, I, that was before. That was for that reason. Feels this like new there's something reason, in there now. This new reason is not anything like that. I Who also... do you work for, Mr. Kudos? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you anything, but please, my only request is that you give me one of the beautiful chicken McNuggets that I have in my satchel over there. But whatever you do, don't eat one yourself. I want all of them for myself. Oh, really? What Please. Is, the, what the brownish green ones are my favorite. Whatever you do, don't eat that one, sir. Please give it to me instead. Don't you know where you are? This is the place where I'm really mean to people. Boy, no. did that backfire. And then anyway, I'm going to roll the dice and... All right, 16. Oh, guess I'll eat that specific McNugget then. <laughs> Not that one. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Wow, I should have really eaten that with some sauce or something. These things are terrible dry. <laughs> Looks like you fell right into my trap. That nugget instills you with an intense fear of social interaction <gasps> and general anxiety. Oh no, I ate the shyness nuggy. Yeah, I guess uh, you could say that. But uh, here's the thing, everything you do feels uncomfortable. Stop this whole interaction is awkward. Uh, You're uh, doing so many social faux pas right now. How are you ever going to live this one oh, down? It's, it's half naked and I, I accidentally looked at one of his nipples for slightly too long. I wonder if he's, he's thinking about gonna, the fact that I was looking at it. Uh, I bet it. All the other torturers are talking about you in a group chat that they have that you're not Would in. Would it be okay if I turned you around while I torture so that we don't have to look at each other? That would be fine. Just uh, unbolt this chair and I'll stand up and turn around. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh uh, okay, yeah. Oh, Come okay. on, you're taking too long. This is starting to get weird. A good torturer would have done this by now. Oh, okay. And then, all right, so we untie. Now what? Like I'm going to run backwards. Mm. and smash into him with the chair in the hopes that the chair kind of like breaks in the process. Okay, let's roll the dice. It does not work. You bounce right off. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, is the door open? Yes. All right, so you go running out. You're out of there now. You're beep, beep, beep. Alarms are going off. You got to get out of there, Mr. Kudos. All right, I look around. Is there, so we're in Iceland. I imagine there is some ice. Is there like a slick patch of uh, ground? There is. All right, I'm going to run at it. I'm going to waddle as fast as I can in the chair. Then I'm going to jump and land sideways. And then you skid as fast as I can using the side of the chair. Oh, that's quite good. And then and then two guards come running up and you, you have a McNugget in each hand and you go, <laughs> and they go boom, right in each of their mouths. <laughs> and they can't help but chew and swallow. Which two nuggets were they specifically? Uh, one was the desire to, intense desire to kiss and the other one was the intense desire not to kiss. Now the guards are fighting. <laughs> fighting over kisses. <laughs> Stop it, I don't want to, Greg. I would really like to, Steve. Well, they're <laughs> distracted. To... And you just go sliding right by. You grab one of their guns on the way out too. The thing about Icelandic guards, and a lot of people know this, their holsters are around their ankles. Yep, and then it's so you got you got that, and then and you're sliding right out of there. Now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna shoot the gun behind me to uh, use the yeah. force to ping myself down the hall. Uh, oh yeah, 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 when like the tanks I'm, fire their guns backwards to go drive faster. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna roll a dice. 
Oh my god, you got a perfect 20. Yes! All right. Yes! Well, you, Natural 20! <laughs> not only do you fire the gun backwards and it, and it works, uh, the bullets will ricochet off the walls, hit the bottom of the chair leg, and give you even more momentum, sending you sailing out of the third story window of the building. <laughs> you go falling through the air, land on the ground, on the feet of the chair, they break, and you land in a karate stance uninjured. Now what, Mr. Cruz? Also, for monetization, somehow inexplicably you got half your clothes back. I reach into the tuxedo and I pull out, I think you already know what I'm gonna say, I pull out the pistol, which I would like to point out has an exceptionally thin barrel. Right, and what pun do you say? I say, ice cock bro, and then I cock the gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's quite good. I have to do it very gently because the bar- the really cannot stress how thin the barrel is. It could just snap at, like, Sick a of sneeze. Gun. Stupid gun. I'm rolling a dice. It's a ten. It's, I'm gonna, it's middling. I'm going to say that it causes the gun to bend. Fuck. Okay, so now I've got a 45 degree hook to it, yeah, which I can go. now use to shoot around corners. All right. So now what? So you have been set up to kill the president of Australia, and now you've got to get some intel to prove that you were set up, and then you got to, you know, get revenge yeah. or something? This country was built on checks and balances, and the only way I can balance one president's death is with another. Uh, there must be a clue or something. Yes, I'm going to go back to the scene of the crime because here's the thing. Nobody expects that the killer would go back to the scene of the crime. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to hoof it over to where uh, the prison of Australia presumably has still just been left. Yeah. So you go back to the scene of the crime. Yeah. Now on the ground, you see something very peculiar. A pen with <gasps> a very satisfying kathunk sound. Hmm. Only one other person had access to such a device. Someone could- who could only be viewed through wibbly wavy flashback vision. Uh huh. That's right. What the fuck? Hold on. Are you telling dun, me? Da da da. The setup. What a twist. Never saw it coming. Oh, how's the mission going, buddy? <laughs> All right, I need to hoof it back. Ah, it seems you've figured out my plans, Mr. Kudos. Very astute of you. Kathunk? How very astute of you, Mr. Kudos, to have figured it out. Sorry, um, I didn't have breakfast. I'm just catching up now. But why, Q? You made gadgets for my wedding. You made gadgets for my kids' births. You helped me conceive. Well... I wasn't going to betray you, Mr. Kudos, but then someone gave me a shiny hundred dollar bill, and uh, every man has his temptation. (laughs) And what will you do about it? Kathunk. But what if you took a look at these swimming goggles, and then I throw them, and then when they land near you, they go up in a a puff of nerve gas, and you have to roll out of the way. (gasps) I'm going to die behind an Icelandic snowmobile. Made of gold. You sure are good at ducking and weaving, Mr. Kudos. Maybe you should take the time to smell the roses. And then he just throws <laughs> some roses. They turn into missiles and they go, then they go flying towards you. Oh! I'm going to dive behind 38 unique wigs. Well, Mr. Kudos, looks like you've dodged twice now. In all seriousness, <laughs> would you like a stick of gum? No tricks. I don't know if I trust this man, but I didn't get to brush my teeth this morning. I walk gingerly towards Q, and I reach out to get You're a gonna stick go of for gun. It. You're going to go for it. Q's there with, like, absolute surprise on his face. You're going to grab the stick of gum. That's the least okay. thing he expects. Here you go. You grab the stick of gum, and once you pull it... Wait, here's the thing. Right. Flashback. I'm behind the 38 wigs. I take the pistol i place it down my pants and i'll remind you that it was bent previously at 45 degrees i place it down my pants in my gooch area so that the barrel is now pointing upwards oh flash forward back to present day i go to reach towards the gum i say hold on q I've actually just got a bit of an itchy bull set. Sure, we've all been there. And I scratch my perennial. I understand, perineum. Mr. Kudos. Go on. Scratch it if you must. It and will I be sh- the last thing you ever do. Wait, why? I thought we just had some gum. Because once you grab this stick of gum, it will explode. Well, anyway, and I, I, I do a behind, not a front scratch, a rear scratch. And I fiddle around 
until I find the trigger. Boy, he's really getting it. up in there, isn't he? <laughs> it's a really deep itch. A gunshot goes off. Huh. You've got me right in the heart. Q falls to the ground. Dead. They said one millimeter wouldn't be enough. I underestimated the caliber of man that you really were, Mr. Kudos. <laughs> and then I lean over and I, b- I blow the smoke out of the barrel. <laughs> and I walk off into the sunset. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da, da. You know, otherwise, I imagine Mr. Kudos gets on the back of his motorcycle. And his girl jumps on the back too, and off and they just, go. And it's the air hostess from earlier. She she was actually on my side the whole time. Oh yeah, inexplicably somehow she was. And you both go riding off into the sunset. Do not forget operatic GX. The G stands for excellent. <laughs>